Young King Cookson is a YouTuber, podcaster, and all-round internet personality. Known for his laid-back and yet cheerful vibe, Cooko shot to prominence during the 2019 AFL season, gaining over 11,000 subscribers throughout the year. He caught the attention of many, including those at the AFL, so much so that he and close friend Caden McDonald have worked with the league on several creative projects. It's fair to say the boys are now paving the way for footy content creators as they work with the AFL to bridge the gap between the league and the online footy supporting community. In True Footy Podcast 47, Kuko sits down with me to discuss his life as an AFL YouTuber and his love for the North Melbourne Football Club. We hope you enjoy the episode. Cheers. G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy Podcast number 47, would you believe, and today is arguably the biggest podcast we've ever done. We've got uh, YouTube AFL royalty, as you might say, joining, <laughs> stitch you up with the intro, but uh, no, we've got Austin Cookson, aka Young King Cookson, uh, the YouTuber, the infamous man, um, has kindly agreed to be on the podcast today, so thank you Austin, how you doing mate? Yeah, I'm doing really good. It's uh, you put a bit of mayo on that uh, that, that introduction, but <laughs> appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm excited to crack on debut on the True Footy YouTube channel. It's um, one that I've been watching for a while, so yeah, I'm Cheers, pretty, mate. pretty keen to be a part of it. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's funny because you and I have been like we've sort of been like Insta friends for ages and mm. known about I'm each on, other, but I'm... exactly, but pen, uh, pals. pen pals, yeah. <laughs> But I'm uh, I'm acutely aware this is actually the first time we've spoken uh, face to face, sort of. So um, yeah, no, thanks for coming on. Um, so today I really wanted to ask you because it's still not quite the footy season yet. Um, mostly questions just about you as a creator and working with uh, guys like Caden and um, in particular, who obviously is one of your best mates, clearly. And um, even some of the work. It's all, of a, it's all of a side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just as a side note, that um that video that you and Drewsy did with um where you're stitching up Caden with that prank call was that was elite like both from at the end yeah. <laughs> you did like because I couldn't tell I was looking at your face for those who haven't seen it it's on Drew's YouTube channel and it's basically where they prank call Caden McDonald um but I couldn't tell like who was acting and who wasn't but then by the end of it like you got absolutely stitched up well I when we were doing that I was like I was like, oh yeah this is a funny funny gag pretty simple concept and then obviously it goes along and then when it clicked I'm like <laughs> Drewsy's a psychopath. <laughs> I've been working with this bloke for like the last couple of days. Like literally, and like, I don't know. It's just, it was just crazy. I'm like, I love this kid, but can I trust him? He's so calculated. It was so, yeah. I was like, well, hey. <laughs> and you know what? I thought Caden acted it really well as well. You yeah. know, when, because Drewsy was like, um, giving him like little backhanded compliments and like kind of insulting him. And he was just like, Oh, yeah, all right. I just thought he played that really well. It was just, it was one of the best videos ever. Sort of um, thought he was a bit sus when Drewsy, did you hear the voice he was putting on? Yeah, yeah, I saw your reaction too. I oh, was this isn't going to work. Like, Kate is not really <laughs> for this. But then, you know, it's sort of like, if I just go, oh, this is all fake, then it's like, ruins it all. So I'm sort of like, yeah. it's, it's working, but it's not. Like, I don't know. And then I got done. Done it. <laughs> Man, it was lucky you pulled through because it, uh, it was a great video. But, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. funny. Cool, man. So, um, first of all, I guess um, most people who would watch True Footy would probably be very aware who you are, but why don't you go ahead and describe who you are and what your channel is for someone who might not have heard of you? Um, well, I actually reckon there's a there's a fair chunk of True Footy that wasn't a fan of me because I, 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 I posted a few like like videos, like opinions and stuff, and there's like there's usually a few comments that are like, oh, this boat has no idea, and I'm like, yeah, fair call, and they're like, do you want to see something that actually knows? Go to True Footy, and I'm like... <laughs> Fuck no! Actually, go there. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like when they try to pin. It's like it's like he's shit. Go to True Footy, and I'm like, yeah, fuck no. Go to True Footy. Like, they, <laughs> yes, he does know what he's talking about. But um, no, yes, I'm sure majority of your subs probably don't have a clue who I am. But um, yeah, I uh, just basically make videos <laughs> like most most of the people on the platform. But uh, um, I don't know, just a bit of a bit of a goofball, just out there with a cam. I don't know, my content's like all over the place really. Like obviously it's pretty heavily footy because, you know, to keep it, you know, not not a beat around a bush, it's um it's where the views are at really. But I, I do enjoy enjoy footy and like making footy content and stuff. And uh, obviously that's where like Caden well yeah, people, I'm trying to explain myself to people who don't know, but uh so yeah, Caden, who I'm hoping people know him because I don't want to have to explain him to explain who I am, but yeah, so he, he made like footy videos and that was sort of my in. 
And then, you know, I've experimented here and there with like different sort of stuff. But yeah, basically just a, an absolute goober that talks shit and uh, hopes that it entertains people somewhat. Don't necessarily have to agree with what I say because half the time I don't even agree with what I say when I like watch my video back. But um, yeah, just, I don't know, just someone that people can uh, watch and go, he's either an idiot or he's got a point or what is this guy doing? Or just make someone, make people feel something when they watch. That's cool, man. I it's clear you're very humble as well because you just basically talk down your channel and your content heaps. But um, obviously, you're very watchable. And, uh, like people, people who comment stuff like "Go watch True Footy instead" clearly don't get the point of your channel. Do you know what I mean? Like, first of all, like they're wrong. Like, I don't necessarily know much more than the next guy. But um, well, to, you're not. You're not. When I watch you, like I've actually had arguments with my mates where I've I've like sort of built the argument around something I've watched on your channel. I can't remember one. I had one recently and I'm like, I was watching it and I was like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's right. And then I was having an argument with one of my mates and I was like reeling it off and I was, I was on top and I was feeling myself. <laughs> so no, I, if, if you, yeah, if you truly don't know as much as it looks, you, you do a good job faking it because you seem like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thanks, man. appreciate that. You know what my first, um, first ever like impression of you was, um, and this is, it might have been before you started a channel or not. I'm not too sure, but it was. I think it was Caden's um, predictions video where it had like the four of you in there, and it was where you predicted Sean Atley would win the Coleman. Do you <laughs> that, yeah. that was the first time I like sort of took in who you are, and I was like, "Is this guy for real?" And then after like a video or two, I was like, "Oh shit, no, this guy is actually just really funny." But at the time, like it was hell convincing. I was like, "Is he serious?" <laughs> well, that's like yeah, when before I'd had the channel and I'd do that sort of stuff on because I, I don't know if you've seen it, but the first one we did the year before, which is like one of Caden's biggest videos, which is like the reason we backed it up again. Um, I picked like North Melbourne. I don't know, finishing, yeah. winning the flag, and all this stuff like. And it was like we actually ended up going alright that year, but we were touted to do like have the like, be one of the worst teams ever. And it was like, and I was just like, just running with us being really good, but obviously we weren't going to be. But that Sean Atley prediction, I'm pretty sure that's the last season's the only season of his career he hasn't actually kicked a goal. Oh really? Wow. But, um, yeah, <laughs> the Coleman prediction was, was a good one. Was a good one. Didn't you? I, I from memory as well. Did you make a good call in that video about Grind Myers? I yeah. Think, well, I was. Because I went to primary school with Grime Myers. Ah. And I like, was in classes and stuff with his older brother. And yeah, he was always a pretty good kid. And like I've like got mates that are like really close with him and stuff. So um, And then I like I was watching him and he'd been in the system a year. And I was watching him, I think it was a preseason game against Essendon. And um, he was just, he's putting on a clinic. Like his forward pressure was elite. And I'm like, Geelong have just got rid of um, Daniel Menzel, at who they got rid of him because he was notoriously like the worst uh, small forward pressure player in the comp or whatever. It's like they got rid of him. Yeah. So I was watching this. I'm like, Grime is going to get a game. Like if they're getting rid of guys because of how bad their small forward pressure is or whatever, um, I'm like, Grime's going to get a game. Like because it was just elite. And I didn't actually know he was going to have a good year, but I'm like, oh, he's going to win the Rising Star. And then I got ripped for it. And like <laughs> by the by the end of the video, I changed my prediction to Luke Davies Uniac. But I was also sort of like, yeah. I don't know. So yeah, it made me look better than I really was. But, you know, <laughs> you know, throw something out there and hope some of it sticks. <laughs> Nah, it was a good call for sure. Can you confirm something? As, as someone who knows Brian, does he have two dads called Greg and Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Can confirm. He definitely does. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only answer that makes sense for his name. But uh, no, he's a great player, definitely. He's actually, his uh, older brother's name's Ryger. Really? Yeah, which is another kind of out there name. And he's sounds like James Ronzi. JD, which is a bit bit more of a normal game name. I'm just doxing his family. Like, <laughs> he, he, he lives at... No. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I like it. I like it. Um, cool. So I guess the the next question is, when did you start uploading videos? Because uh, for me, I kind of noticed you in Caden's videos at first. And then is it something that you sort of got into later? And why did you? Well, so like basically, Kate, like me and Caden have always been like sporty kids, as I'm sure you were when you were growing up. Like he was like, yeah, the boy next door. No, <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> no, like we, we live close to each other. And like we just met at the tennis court. So we started you know, like kicking the footy and every night, like when I was like, yeah, 13, Caden, Caden's two years older than me. He's just like calling my house. He's like getting onto my mum, like, oh, get him around and play cricket. And like, it, it was sick, like, you know, something to do always. Um, so we're just playing like heaps of sport, like throughout all like high school and stuff. And um, then Caden was like always, he'd film stuff like all the time. Like he was always one of those guys. I don't know if you were, but like all us boys, we'd just like play, but Caden always wanted to like, like keep like documents of like how we were going, like do the post-game interviews and stuff. 
And like, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit cringy and a bit, bit shitty, but it's kind of, it's kind of cool. And it's, it's cool that it's sort of like ended up actually being something he's going to do. So I, I never really had the, uh, like the passion that he had for, um, actually like creating, but I always liked when he was doing his videos, like I was encouraging him to do it. I always loved being in him. Like, I don't know. It's, it's like, I'm, you, you, I'm sure you probably have it a little bit as well. Like anyone that films themselves talking, it's like a little bit of like a, like not egotistical because I, I don't, I'm not saying we're all flogs or anything, but it's like, there's something where it's like, I like watching myself back on camera. Like, and I like, like, even like, it's not like I look at myself and go, fuck, I'm beautiful. And like, I come across so well. I, I don't know. I, might, I probably shouldn't swear. Should I? But, <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. No? Oh, sorry. You go. Yeah, um, go. Uh, yeah. It's not like I, like I look at myself and go, Oh my God, I'm so beautiful. Like, geez, I look good on camera. It's just something about it. I'm like, Oh, it's just like funny watching yourself back on camera. I don't know how to explain it, but, um, I always like that. And then obviously seeing like some success Caden was doing um, with his stuff and I'd like get involved in his live streams and stuff. And um, yeah, and I, I, I saw um, your channel, Backyard Charizard, I saw the pair and I'm like, oh, there's a few people like doing it. Like, so I'm like, oh, you know, I, I, I like this. I want to do it for myself. Like I don't want to have to wait for the call from Caden to be in a video. So just uh, like literally bought everything like i didn't have a lap i've never had a laptop in my life like oh i had one for yeah. school but like it was a real shitty one just bought a laptop yeah. bought like camera uh tripod like hard drive like everything like i just bought it and i just said oh, i'm just gonna have a crack at this like and then yeah it's, I, I love it like it's fun i suck at editing but making videos like i yeah i love doing it no that's pretty cool man um so what what's it like um as someone who's now kind of like you're in the grind like you're uploading like weekly mostly at least at least weekly yeah what, what's that like having someone else doing the same thing because like i've always wondered that because um i know true footy there's four of us but um you might notice it's mostly me and with a little bit of busher um so it's a, a little bit different i've always wondered how if it would be um so much more beneficial if i had someone with the same mindset doing videos every day so what's that like working with caden 100 percent, so good like obviously like if he if he was stopped now I'm not saying I would stop, but it would definitely just spiral down. Like it's, it's just sick. Cause like, um, I don't know. It's just always someone that, yeah, like he's messaging me an idea that he wants to do something I want to do. I can like, and like me and Caden have a pretty good, um, like, like I can tell him something shit. Like, it's not like, you know, like we're mm. real close. Like there's no like, uh, like jealousy or anything or like, um, yeah. So it's, it's just cool having someone you can bounce off. And like, I know if I tell him something, um, like an idea I want to do, he's not just going to go, oh, that's shit, and then do it for himself or something like that. Like he would just, yeah, or yeah. if he genuinely tells me he thinks it's shit, he like is think he thinks it's shit, and because like he wants me to do good, I want him to do good. So it's it's cool, like it's it's really good. And then like obviously, Caden's got a good mate, um, Connor, who is you, you might have seen him. He's like featured a little yeah. bit. He's got his channel. He's not as consistent, but um, like he he's sort of starting to try and get a bit more consistent. But yeah, it's, I, I love it. I I think the dream would be like if uh, obviously it makes it hard with like you are in in perth and um drewsy's in perth and um anthony's in um adelaide and backyard charizard's in adelaide but i reckon it'd be sick like if we could all just like be close so it's like just you know every few weeks we could all like be in each other's videos build all together but yeah i just love the idea of yeah just doing it together like i don't know never really been an individual kind of guy so i just reckon it's yeah it's sick just bouncing off each other and yeah, you're both in the same mindset of like, let's make some shit and have some fun. So yeah, it's cool. That's cool, man. Yeah, I'm the same as you. I've like, I kind of visualize what the the high point of like being an AFL YouTuber is. And I look at, um, and we've talked about him before, but someone like True Geordie and all those UK football like YouTubers and he's got the show The Kickoff now. And that's kind of like my idea of like the elite elite. I've seen the behind the scenes of those episodes he does. He's got like a whole crew and stuff. It must be so the expensive. Whole, but When I see him all just behind at the buttons and like there's like all the screens, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, like there's so much. Yeah. How much money do you make? Holy shit. Oh, 100%, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that that is the dream as well. But like, um, but in terms of you, man, like, what's your, what's your personal sort of goal? Like, for because you seem quite relaxed. You've got this really like laid back vibe. Um, what drives you to be so consistent, and what's the end goal? Well, the, like, um, yeah, general, generally, generally, not genuinely, gen generally. Um, as you can see, I'm one of the smarter blokes going around. But uh, <laughs> no, no, uh, generally, I'm like, yeah been pretty like laid back with everything um which is weird because like i don't know when i'm like talking to people i'm like like sort of full on but when it comes to like i don't know yeah life i'm like pretty chilled like i don't really 
yeah, care about much, which is sort of my downfall a little bit because, yeah, you've said I uh, like upload like consistently, which is I'm glad that, you know, I'm fooling you. No, like I, I <laughs> sometimes, but, um, Oh, you like, definitely I've do. Had, yeah. I've had stages where like I haven't uploaded for a month and like, yeah. um, obviously it's a you can hide it a little bit better when it's like over cricket season or the summer or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, I want to, I, I, I don't really think long-term goals, like, um, I basically just want to try and upload every single day, really. Like, I know I'm not doing that at the moment, but, like, if I'm to say, like, a goal that I want to do is I want to get into a stage where, yeah, I'm, like, three days ahead of an upload or something, so, like, I can just okay. upload every single day. I don't know, so long-term you... goal, I don't, yeah, I don't really, just, yeah, day by day, man. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, so you're quite a short-term oriented person. Yeah, um, like, obviously, like, I have, like, oh, imagine... Like getting to a million, me and Caden both a million. Like, yeah. But obviously, that's very far fetched. But yeah, nothing really. Like, whereas Caden sets up and he's like, he's like, I want to get to like forty two thousand subs in like a week. And like, yeah, I'm yeah. sort of like, I don't know. I just yeah, just want to put stuff out, have fun while I'm doing it, and don't really think about it too much. Like, if it's if it seems as though it's coming across like reasonably successful for me, and I'm having fun. Like, I, yeah, I'm just not really too fast where it ends up going. Just keep enjoying where it where it's at at the moment yeah and enjoying the process is really important right to quote gary v <laughs> yeah legit legit yeah. <laughs> true though but, yeah, like, yeah. Like waffles, yeah. But it's, it's, it's kind of true <laughs> oh yeah for sure i uh i'm the same like you i i'm very short-term oriented so like i i'll be open about it like i want to make this a career somehow and obviously it'll be very challenging because like no one in this space is doing it for a career i believe caden's just started going full-time which is fucking awesome but um but you know what i mean generally speaking no one's done this, that much um but the 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 other thing is like i've got to be really short-term oriented and i think it doesn't really matter whether you're short-term or long long-term oriented as long as you're motivating yourself to do the weekly bread and butter stuff because if you're churning out you know two to three videos a week i mean that's that's a lot but if you're doing it consistently it doesn't really matter where your head's at as long as you're actually producing the output as well um but do you that's the thing also with you like i think like when you make a video, like, cause like you speak really well. So it's like, and also you obviously love footy and you, you know what you're talking about. So it's like almost, even if like, you know, your YouTube channel blows up, whatever, keep going. Like, um, but you also have like, it's like an online resume for you as well. So like, if you like want to, I don't know what you, you say you're, you're doing like law at the moment. Is that yet? Man, I finished my law degree. I've been doing just this. Yeah. So are you like you not working at the moment, or are you? No, I work full time. I work at Bunnings actually. Yeah, um, uh, like as a supervisor, um, and that's sick because that's I'm actually just going to work with all my best mates. Like, um, so that's why I've stuck around so long. It's a re- it's actually a really good go- a gig, and it's allowed me the time to do this. But um, but yeah, to answer your question, I do this around working full time. Yeah, yeah. So that makes it hard as well. Like oh, at the moment, I'm sort of like if I if I need money, I just call up one of my mates and start laying turf with his dad. So. But at the moment, like it's, yeah, I'm yeah lucky that I'm like getting just enough to like get by through the sort of stuff we're doing. But um, yeah, like yeah, with you and like even with me, probably you know wouldn't take my channel as seriously for a, you know, like you could like write like as a journalist. Like, have you ever like wanted to do that or like, because that's when like when I watch your stuff, I'm like, oh, like you could genuinely like be a reporter for like AFL or something like that. Like, it's you know it's like a, it's legit. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Um. No, I mean, I, no, I'm actually quite an introverted person, believe it or not. And I, that's something I've noticed. I've noticed that a lot about other YouTubers. Um, I mean, that's, that's a tangent, but I, I think it's like, it's easy to talk in front of a camera, but not necessarily be massively sociable. But um, no, like, so like, I get that question a lot and I've, I've changed my LinkedIn to show that like I'm an AFL content creator and stuff like that. And I'm positioning myself like that, but um but in terms of career, I think I've kind of reached the point, and this is, might sound really arrogant, but I actually really love that this is my project. And I, like working, I mean, I'd probably never say no to a job at the Eagles, but, um, but you know, working for like Channel 7 or something, I don't feel like it would ever be the same. And even if I'm going to make less money doing this, um, yeah, there's an arrogant part of me that just kind of wants um, to do my thing. <laughs> I don't even think that's arrogant. I think that's just, that's just real. Like that's just, mm. yeah. Yeah, I, don't know. I think that's awesome. That's that's the same sort of um, yeah, like way I look at things. Like if if I yeah got offered a job doing um, something, the money was there, I probably would take it. I'm not gonna lie, but I also like I love yeah, I love the idea that it's like literally 
obviously like you know we do heavily footy stuff but if i want to upload a video talking about the jake paul ksi fight or whatever like oh, I, can, yeah. I can literally just do that like yeah so it, it, it is it is cool that you can do whatever you want and obviously it um you know it's not as inspiring if the views aren't there for certain things but like yeah it's pretty cool that you can just do whatever you want if it it works it works yeah, that's true, man. That's that's why I actually did a second channel, um, which I've barely touched. I've done like some FIFA videos and just like yeah, the yeah. KSI Logan Paul reaction videos yeah, and stuff yeah, like, like that. But um, yeah, no, that, that stuff's really fun. Do you? I guess kind of touching on that. Do you have like YouTube inspirations or like what what are the YouTubers that you watch? And um, is there someone that you particularly look at and try and maybe maybe not model yourself on, but try and take a lot from? Um, there's actually there is a few. Um. So obviously, I, I started um, bringing like the the Sporkle videos over here, which like I've seen you've done a few. And oh yeah, I've totally nicked that idea. Caden's done a few. No, that's it's cool. But um, I because I stole that idea from uh, this guy. I don't actually watch him anymore, but I had a stage where I w- was like watched him religiously. Um, his name's King of the Fourth Quarter. He's like a okay. he's a basketball NBA YouTuber, and yeah. um, I love him. I love him. No, <laughs> I love like like his channel because he. Uh, he basically does like he doesn't leave his room, but and he's not like he's not super charismatic. He's not like he's not like super likable, but he's not that he's not not likable. Like I was, I was addicted to watching him for a stage, but like he um he just like yeah he did like sporkle videos and like literally just like ten minute video ten minute videos talking about like the Houston Rockets lineup or like like he's done like redrafting stuff so like. Mm. that like yeah you're sort of like when you were doing that i'm like that's like the same videos he did and he has like i think he's like like two hundred fifty thousand subs so um and he he started off like he blew up from doing like sporkles and stuff and i'm like there's some afl stuff here like that's that's sick because you know the viewer watches and they're like oh i I like the guy who's doing it and also it's like i I know more than you and like also (laughs) there's a competitive thing like i know the answer and it's like what's this trying to think together and you you're sort of like watching it and you're like, oh, I'm getting annoyed that he doesn't know what I know. You know yes. what I mean? So it's like, yeah. So, um, yeah, other than that, um, like sort of me and Caden always throw it, throw around ideas that like the sidemen and stuff do, but um, I'm not like the biggest fan of them really. I really like KSI. I actually, yeah. like even though he comes across like really arrogant, I like I watch a fair bit of his stuff and I actually think he seems like a pretty good bloke. Um, yeah, Joe Weller. You heard of Joe Weller? Yeah, yeah, I like Joe Weller. Yeah, yeah. I, like I was just it. listening to his music, actually. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, he does a bit of house music. Yeah, that's how I found him a few years, years ago. ago like, I actually found him on. I found him on MTV. But this is before I started watching much YouTube. I started watching YouTube in like 2017. Um, as in, like, not YouTube generally, but like YouTubers. Um, in 2017, when I found True Geordie. But before that, I literally just found Joe Weller's music video on MTV, and I didn't know he was a YouTuber for ages. That's crazy. Also, that's another yeah. one. True Geordie, obviously, yeah, he's like yep. he influenced you pretty heavily. But um, mm. yeah, his his sort of stuff, I reckon, is like awesome. Like I've, yeah, the podcast, like obviously he went, he's like loves Joe Rogan. He did the podcast through Joe Rogan and stuff. But um, yeah, when he did his first ever podcast was the the day I'm like I want to do a podcast. Like, um, because I've been watching True Geordie through. Do you know Spencer FC? Yes. Yeah, so they did like a football versus FIFA video or something like ages ago. And um, right. actually, I think I saw him, they were doing like predictions for like EPL match week or something. And then he yeah, was yeah. on like a football versus FIFA and I'm like, oh, I'm going to watch this guy. He's got something about him. When I first watched him, I'm like, I don't really like him, but he's got something about him. Like he's watchable. Yeah. And then like, yeah. you know, you know, the whole thing with YouTube is like you watch him and you're like, you're like oh, he's a good bloke. Like, and sometimes yeah. he, tr- he annoys you with things he says, but like, yeah, his, his channel is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Another one. They're probably yeah, the main ones. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that True Geordie like took the podcast format from Joe Joe Rogan and I basically copied and pasted True Geordie podcast to True Footy podcast. That that's literally where the true part comes from. Because um, Joycey decided it was Joycey's idea for the channel, and we were originally just True Footy podcast. And yeah, that's how much I kind of like look up to True Geordie. He's, um, he's sick. Well, I could see yeah. you having that. Um, so obviously, like me and Caden try to do the the live streams and stuff, but um, mm. like, I, I could. Yeah, I could see you, like, obviously, yeah, the budget and stuff, but, yeah, I could see yeah. you have that in the long run, you know, you get a sponsor behind you and then you never know. Yeah, that's the goal, man. Yeah, I mean, it'd be cool if we could do, like, a kickoff, like, all together, obviously, with, like, the multiple cameras, like, that would be sick uh, for, like, a big final one year or something. Yeah, even, yeah, I'm I'm happy to share it around and then, you know, collab when we can. It, it's just, it, yeah. it honestly, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's weird because you never think, like, oh, I wish I could just dip up to Perth, but, like, 
So yeah. when you, you're like, there's people that, because there's not many people. Like, there's a lot actually like young kids now that have like 100 subs that are like probably be better than all of us like in a couple of years. But um, yeah, <clears throat> like there's not many really at the moment that like when you go footy YouTube, it's like I was making that um footballer YouTube team and I was like, I was struggling for like people to think of. And it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. true. Yeah. Man, I'm not, I'm not being humble when I say this, but I've literally found probably half a dozen channels that are new of people younger and around my age that are so much fucking better than at me and the, what they're doing, but they haven't grinded, uh, to use a cliche, but for like the years, because my attitude was literally whoever does, other than a few exceptions, wh whoever does this the longest and the most consistent and tries to play like the game, the longest will eventually succeed. That's what's motivated me to grind this long. I didn't really have like a video that's gone ballistic or anything like that. It's just been really slow. Um, well, that's what's good because you've built an audience and there's like, so you, you're always going to have that core group instead of having like one video that gets a million views and you've got like 100,000 subs of people that, and you're still getting like, you know, 20 views on your video because they only yeah. care about that one video. So it's, it's better. I, it's like, I reckon it's better to have the actual audience that cares about you. That's true. You had a real big explosion, didn't you? Like, when do you remember when that was and, and what caused it? Or um, I don't know. I think it was I, just... When I first spoke to you, you were you had less subs than I had at the time. I think you were like a thousand or something. I was maybe two thousand, and then it was like literally a matter of weeks. You were like fucking five thousand past me or something like that. No, I, yeah, I don't even. Well, I've since footy season's finished, my channel I've probably grown like yeah, like four hundred subs or something. Like it's you know me too. died a fair bit, but um, yeah, it sort of just went crazy. Like I don't know. Like I, yeah, it was like the the best grind I've actually had. Like when I was really like head down, ass up. Was, probably, was I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I feel like one of my like high school teachers or something. But um, <laughs> when I when I was like fully like grinding, like and the the hardest I probably worked, and the videos probably weren't at the quality because I was a bit bit shitty on in front of camera. But um, the first yeah thousand subs um was because my the goal I had I actually had a goal. I was like I want to be able to earn money and put ads on my video. Like I'm like it wasn't like I want to make millions i'm like i just want to be able to put ads on my video because then i feel like it's at least a little bit legit like instead of just so that first thousand took yeah like probably not long really compared to a lot of people because i had caden in the corner but um yeah that that first thousand was like real like i was going for it like my editing was better than it is now and um yeah because i actually put the effort in but yeah since then i've sort of like slacked a little bit but i don't know it's just from a thousand to like yeah thirteen thousand i don't know what happened i think yeah just sort of just keep on putting stuff out and I think I got a little bit better in front of camera and I, I don't know I, I became a little bit more controversial I think not not fully controversial like not like Logan Paul controversial or anything but like <laughs> you know I was not. I was getting like more I don't know like people going oh fuck this guy oh sorry I'm swearing again but like no no you like, can swear you oh can I can swear oh, you can um, swear yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah like fuck this guy um and then there was a lot of people like going oh I love you so it was like there was actually like yeah people like feeling something not just going Oh, that wasn't the right video. Click off. They were like, dislike or subscribe. So I was like, I don't know. That's that, that was the thing that, I was going to yeah. That's true, man. Like, I think that's actually a marketing technique that other brands use. I've spoken to my sister who's got a small business. We've talked about it. And basically, like, you need to be, like, 10% controversial to invite the trolls. You actually have to feed trolls. And that, I think that's why predictions videos do well. A, because it's easily consumable. People just want to know where you put their team on the ladder. And even though that video will have... 5 million times as many dislikes on it because there's just little kids just going, fuck yeah. Um, you'll get way more views on them as well. And that's such an important ingredient. But one thing that you've got as well, and I put it down to why you've been so, well, partially why you've been so successful is that people actually just like you as a bloke. And I, I like that. I think that's a really important ingredient. And that's something I've tried to develop because I found that in the podcast, we kind of, at the start, we were like way too relaxed and then we kind of went a little bit rigid and trying to be like AFL media. Now I'm trying to bring it back to a point where like in the middle where like people like us as blokes because that really takes the pressure off when you make like a shit prediction or you know what I mean? Like if I'm if I'm putting myself out there as like an AFL expert, which I'm not really trying to, um, if I get it wrong, then people just fucking hate me. But if I, people actually like who you are, then it's a bit different. So that, that's the challenge. Yeah, I feel that heavy because, like, yeah, if I, I say something dumb, which is usually 90% of the stuff I say, the people that have, like, watched me, they go, oh, that's cool, I've just been an idiot. And then it's like, if it comes off, they're like, it's like a big deal. It's like, the idiot <laughs> paid off, like, the, the village idiot got it right. And it's like, yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know, but no, I, I, I actually have noticed, um, lately, like that, um, I was actually watching the, yeah, the redrafting video with my brother and I was like, yeah, it speaks well. Um, you do, you, you do the same thing as I do. Um, you just, you can already, you've, you've said something that, you know, people aren't going to agree with, and then you're already trying to rebut before they've even got the chance <laughs> to say anything. Like, you're like, I know you guys are going to have this and I hate doing that, but I do it as well. Yeah. And it's like, I just want to say it. Yeah. That's true. It's actually a bad thing. I think it's better to just like fucking just be confident. And just let them put it out there. Yeah. But I do it yeah. as well. Like I say something and I'm like, I already know why you're going to think this is wrong, but you're wrong for thinking I'm wrong because this, and then you're like having an argument with yourself and it's like, what am I doing? Like it's- yeah, that's right. It's because I put Oscar Allen in my top 10 and I was like, fuck, yeah, I yeah, yeah. feel the hate is coming already. <laughs> it's like, because you go for West Coast as well. It's like, exactly. there's another thing that people are going to go, even if you genuinely like non-biased aside, that like you genuinely believe it. People can go, oh, you just go for West Coast. You think that could yeah. West Coast. Like, oh, part you'll never <laughs> exactly. You'll never, you'll never get around it. Do you um? Do you get recognised around where you live? Because you do you live in Geelong? Is that right? Uh yeah, Torquay. So it's just like <clears throat> I don't know. From Perth, you probably don't know where that is. It's like like just Not fifteen really. minutes away from Geelong, like right on yeah. the beach. Lovely okay. place. Uh, really, it's, you know. Yeah. Wants, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, it's it's so weird. Like um. So obviously, like Caden's been. I keep on bringing up Caden, but it's kind of hard to talk about like myself oh, yeah. without bringing up like Caden because yeah. yeah, he's like heavy part of the channel and stuff. But um, he started like probably like five six years ago, five years ago I think. Um, <clears throat> and even when he was at like a thousand, he had like a like a real like sh- like the thousand loved him. Like he was getting like yeah like a thousand subs, a thousand like a thousand plus views and like like heaps of likes and it was like it was weird like they all just like really because i think caden was like one of the um did you well, how long have you been doing it for uh two and a bit years yeah so yeah i think caden was i was gonna say i don't want to rip you off here if you've been doing it long. but no, no caden, yeah, yeah i'm pretty sure caden was like one of the like first ones to definitely be doing like yeah. he would bring over like theo baker content and like yeah do yeah. it and stuff and like um he was one of the first so i think the kids that watching and like getting into soccer through the EPL, I mean, the English YouTubes and stuff were like, holy shit, I like footy more and there's a person doing it. And it's like, it doesn't matter if there's a thousand subs, like he's the one doing it. It's like, True. Uh, so he, he sort of built like a really strong audience and it was it was crazy. Like even when he was at like 2,000 subs, like we go to the footy and he gets like, gets stopped. Like it's crazy yeah. now. But like, even then, like if he got asked for like three photos, me going to the footy with him, I'm like, what is going on? And like, <laughs> it, it, it slowly transitioned into a phase. Like even when I was just in his videos where people would be like, like, like half the time people would be like, oh, Kuko, yeah, you get in as well. And then like the other half wouldn't care because they'd only know him for his parodies and stuff. So sure. like I got in a really like like weird stage where I'm like, I just like, as soon as they notice Caden, I'm like, oh, I'll take the photo. Like just to yeah. make it not awkward to be like, not for me to be like, oh, I'll help in. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, hey, what's up? But like, <laughs> so yeah, I, it got real weird. And now like I still sort of have that a little bit in me, but like, yeah, it's so weird. Like obviously you go to the footy and, like people know and stuff, but when you're like, yeah, walking around Geelong and there's like someone knows or like someone my sister works with says, like, oh, he's your brother, like what the hell? And it's like, yeah, yeah right. Like, it's, That's cool. It's just so weird, it's just so weird because it's like, I don't know. When when someone does come up to me, I'm like, like oh hey man, like I just want to chat, like like just a person on the street. And then like, oh can I get a photo? And they're like shy. And I'm like, why? What what the fuck? Why? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, like it's weird enough that you want to talk to me, but. Not, not like to shoot him down. Like it's awesome that people think that way. But like, I'm like, seriously, it's nothing. And then again, um, that's probably how like KSI and shit feel. And I probably shit myself if I went up to him. So yeah, not to compare myself on that level, but I'm <laughs> saying like, I'm just saying like, but I know what like, you mean. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. about you? Going like, if you go to an Eagles game, dude, is it pretty? Hectic? It has happened. It has happened. Definitely not hectic. I've never had anyone ask for a photo, but um. Yeah, no, I don't think people look at me like that. Then I'm not like a celebrity. I think they, I'm still in that phase where, well, oh, um, no, we're not talking celebrities. Don't worry. no, but like no, but like kids idolize you. Whereas I bet people look at me and think, oh, that's a guy who's you know making a footy videos. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. I, that doesn't make any sense. I, think, I think if you walked around the MCG, you'd have like at a if you came down for a West Coast Melbourne game, you'd have plenty of plenty of people taking photos. Maybe I don't know. Uh, that's never happened, but I have had people just say, oh. G'day, mate. Um, nice videos or something. Um, the interesting thing is the age spread, though. Like, I have had maybe a couple people over 50 
um like uh CD, really? like, wow. yeah yeah like just the other day because i work at uh, as i said i work at bunnings a pretty busy one so um occasionally it happens there but yeah like a couple of people over 50 have been like oh you're from the podcast and stuff like that so, so yeah. i feel like you yeah that would make sense for you because like <clears throat> like not that like me and caden are trying to like you know shoot up a little bit but there obviously is a lot of like, like little kids and stuff that like it but oh. <clears throat> with your stuff it's yeah like easier consumable for uh, you know because it's you know the podcast and stuff and you're actually talking footy it's like yeah it's a different format yeah yeah whereas yeah with my stuff I've, I've had like yeah i've had like uh like i don't know like five-year-old kids come up and I'm like, how do you even know how to work a computer and like, <laughs> so I, was true, at, though. I was yeah i was at crown the other week and uh like i had like three photos while i was like on night with the boys at crown i'm like what is That's going it. on like it's so crazy like this like good looking strapping young lad with his missus and i'm like He's like, Coco, and I'm like, what are you doing, man? Like, <laughs> you're killing it in life. Go home with your lovely <laughs> girlfriend and <laughs> don't. But, no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's funny. It's real funny. That's hilarious, man. That's cool. Well, uh, one thing I kind of wanted to well, – I planned to get to before 35 minutes in, but I've had such a good time talking to uh, with you. Um, but I wanted to ask you about, um, you know, your opportunity working with the AFL because that popped up sometime this year. Um, how did that come about and what that's what's that been like? Oh, so crazy. So, I, I think I was – yeah, I'm not sure how many subs I had. I think Caden was at about <clears throat> about twenty twenty thousand. And um, so yeah, you you watched the, like EPL and stuff. Yep. You know the channel Copper Ninety. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I think they're struggling a bit now, but um, yeah, yeah. You've spoken. Yeah, you know Ali Cullen. He's he's got. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. did he? Did he, how did he get onto you? Did he hit you up through like a? a I got an email. Oh, you got, got an email. email. Um, no, that's all right. Uh, Caden got a tweet from a weird AFL, uh, AFL accounts account or something. It was like AFL. I don't know. I what think it was. I've like seen some, that. Yeah. Like some, like no followers, like, like yep. quiet as, and he's like, Oh, g'day mate. Do you want to have a meeting or something? Caden's like, what? Like I remember him telling me, he's like, this is dodgy. And I'm like, yeah. I want, like, just don't give him your bank card or anything. Like just talk to him. <laughs> like, and, um, <laughs> Like, you know, out. not going to murder you or anything. Like <laughs> but um, so we got onto him and then obviously, yeah, Ali. Um, I don't know how much you've had to do with Ali, but have you, like, you, you've just spoken to him on the phone or like? Yeah, so not nowhere near as much as you. Um, but uh, I think sort of like the pair as well. Um, it was a couple of emails, spoke on the phone and it was um, when we sort of sent in clips as part of a compilation, like predictions and stuff like that. Um, so I haven't heard too much from him since, um, but that was the extent of it. But obviously your um, involvement went a lot further. Well, so yeah, you you got initially you were you were one of the men, like because I didn't even get anything. Like it was literally Caden going, you, oh, have really? take, "You have to take my spastic mate with me." Like you got to, <laughs> like he's like, "I'm not doing it." It was part of the deal. But um, <laughs> so yeah, you you guys yeah got that that stuff, and then Caden's like, "Oh, my mate does videos. Like get get him involved, hey, my mate." And then um, I was like, "Oh, sweet." Like, I like doing random shit. It's funny. Um, so we went up and had a meeting with Ali. Um, after, actually, before I'd even spoken to him, I did that. I sent in that um, fan prediction, like, th- a bit bit for the video. Just because yeah. eight, Caden did, and Caden's like, oh, I'll send yours through too and see if you like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was real. I think I was, like, half laughing, like, what am I doing? But, um, <laughs> and then I just tagged along with the meeting with Caden. And then, yeah, me and Ali, like, sort of just hit it off. Like, he's, like, a, like a really good dude. Like, he's back in England now. But, um, yeah, he... They brought him over from, yeah, Copper 90 to sort of um, just, yeah, lift the social media game and bring more, like, uh, like fan interaction sort of stuff. So, yep. <clears throat> yeah, and then a um, couple of meetings. Uh, we went in with, like, yeah, heaps of people. And it, was, it was just so funny because, like, at this stage, I was still thinking, I'm like, this is going nowhere for me. Like, this is pretty – like, what are we doing here? So we're just in there, like, in a meeting. I'm in, like, a pink hoodie and, like, I don't know. It's just, like – all these people sitting there and they're like talking to us and I'm just talking shit. And I was like, I was making them all laugh and I'm like, Oh, I wonder if this is good. Like, I'm, mm. like I, I hope they're like thinking this is all right. Um, yeah. we got along with Ali really well. And Caden just like said a whole heap of ideas. Um, but he wanted to do, we wanted to do ideas that like we couldn't do. So we didn't want to just go, Oh, we'll do a goal recreation and like just film us, kick the footy and put it on your channel. Cause it's like, Oh, I can go to Caden's channel anyway. So um, yeah. <clears throat> we aimed big and said, Oh, we want to go to as many, games of footy as we can in one weekend and 
<coughs> they're like, oh, sweet, yeah, it's all done. Um, <laughs> we're, like, doing this partnership with Virgin, like, all your flights covered, like, all your accommodation and stuff. Got tickets to all the games, got media passes. And I was like, sorry, what? Like, you trust me? Like, <laughs> And, like, they were really, really good. I'm like, I can't believe you trust me. Like, like they're like, well, well, this is our chance. Like, you know, do we trust you? Like, we're giving you a chance. I was like, sweet. So we did yeah. that. Heaps of stuff came out. I think the video is pretty cool. Um, people seemed to like it, except at the end I said palmy, and people weren't happy with that. They, they <laughs> palmy. Really? Are you a palmy or palmer man? Palmy, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think uh, Melbourne, people from the Melbourne city, um, they say they say palmy, palmer. Is it? Is yeah, that right. Like, yeah, yeah, so I was. I knew there was, was a debate. Yeah, I was getting roasted, but um, yeah, that was the first thing we did. That was so much fun. Like, it was just, that was crazy. Um, hoping to do that again, actually, and come up to Perth, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. But that yeah, since, since then, just build like, yeah, good relationship with Ali. Like, spent. <clears throat> I went up to uh, like Koryong and did like a thing with him, just with him and that. Cohen. He was like filming and stuff, and it was yeah, just a really good dude, and he helped us heaps. And now we've got like another few contacts there, like you know how it is you just meet a few people and <clears throat> you, yeah they, you get along with them and then you know they believe in you a little bit so they give you a chance and it's like yeah pretty cool that's cool man i don't know if i, I don't know if good part <laughs> what's that sorry i don't know if i explained that any good but um no, no no i got you is um sorry is ali not working with the afl anymore no so ali was there for a like a six month thing i think just to, ah. just to try and just boost it and get the ball rolling um cool. and and then he was he was in Australia for a little bit longer, just like going around. I think he's back in uh, in England now, so I don't know what he's doing. I haven't spoken to him for a while, but yeah, hopefully he comes back over and yeah, get some more stuff That's going. Cool. Sends us to Perth, so we can do some stuff. <laughs> I think I saw him in a Copper ninety video once. Like, believe it or not, like long or since? Like, uh, a while ago, a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. He, that's he cool. said he he played in like he was in like the Copper ninety team of like like five aside soccer or something, and he yeah. he said he played. He played against like um like heaps of the guys like he's played against like Mini Minter and stuff and yeah, that's yeah cool. and, uh, it's, it's pretty funny. He's like he's like what do you care about him and I'm like oh, I'll just watch him. The YouTubers man like <laughs> I don't know. but uh, <laughs> yeah funny good bloke, good bloke. really good bloke. That, that's cool man. So do you think uh, there's going to be some stuff in the future um, maybe this season with the AFL or is it cool kind of up in the air? Uh yeah, there's nothing like set in stone, but um yeah, there's the lady we're working with now um. I don't know. Actually, I don't think she likes her name. I don't know. She doesn't like the insane. This lady we're working with now. Um, who got I can on, bleep that out. Yeah. Uh, for like doing the, I don't know if you've seen it on like the Aussie rules channel. We've been doing like this like yep. footy at home stuff. And it's like, um, yeah, she sort of like set that up. And um, she's, she's like, we get along with her really well as well. So she's like, you know, she works at the AFL and she's trying to always get ideas and stuff for us. But um, yeah, there's like <clears throat> always, like something that gets me a bit excited. I'm like, whoa, actually, we're going to do that. But um, yeah, nothing like set in stone for this year. But uh, yeah, like heaps of stuff that potentially could happen. So yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. <laughs> that's cool. Am I mistaken in thinking you might be the only bloke to ever go on the AFL channel and be in your jocks? There was a scene. That, that was a scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure it's in five days. Yeah. yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, true. Yeah, I think that might be. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's probably going to stay that way. <laughs> Absolutely. We sent them a clip. We, one of the clips we sent them was um, I was the, in the, the hotel, motel, whatever, I don't know, in Adelaide. Um, the, it was like a, the, this room was really small. Like it wasn't as nice as the one we had in Sydney. But the, yeah, the one in Adelaide was like really small. And like the toilet was like right at the shower. And I sent, <laughs> I sent one of them where I was like filming myself on the shitter. And I'm like, oh, this is a bit not on. And then I had Cade in the shower. And I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't quite make the cut, but um, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. <laughs> oh, that's such a shame. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I like uh, it. <laughs> yeah. So you've um you've met quite a few players. Um, to put you on the spot, put you on the spot with this one. Who's the best bloke you've met that's a player? Uh, um, best bloke, like genuinely, like I want, I would want my daughter to marry this man. Like I, you know, you just. You, you just happily, like, live with him, like, just a beautiful human, <laughs> is Rory Sloan. Rory oh, Sloan. okay. Yeah. Gen- like, me- like, they're all nice. I don't think I've, oh, there's a couple we've met that are a bit shit, but most of them are, like, really good blokes. Like, but Rory Sloan's just, like, he had us at his house for a whole day. Like, <clears throat> up in Adelaide, we went up there and he literally just, we stayed at his house with him and his missus. And, like, wow. they're just, they were just so sick. Like, he, he didn't, 
I don't know. It was just, it was crazy. That was like a moment where I was like, what is going on? Like I was just shooting hoops with Rory Sloan, just talking about like Michael Jordan era of basketball and stuff. Like, I don't know. It was just, yeah. it was just bizarre. And like, he didn't, I don't know. He has no ego at all. That bloke, like he genuinely is just a good person. But if, if I had to say someone that like, I would um like, well, that I like talk to a little bit here and there that I would say, let's go out in the beers. Like this good geezer, good funny bloke, Devin Smith from Essendon. Oh, really? Yeah, he's yeah, I'd, yeah. <clears throat> you want him that at party? <laughs> we did. We we filmed a footy at home episode with him, which is where we oh, met okay. him. And then yeah. two days two days after, we were scheduled to do a the AFL Evolution shoot with him, which hasn't come uh, out yet because I don't know. I think there's the video. A, yeah, the video hasn't come out. Yeah, or has it? Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember if I just saw it on like your socials or something. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. remember. Um, no, nah, yeah, he's he's. Some of the shit that comes out of his mouth is hilarious. Like, really, <laughs> really guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. That's sick, man. Um, one thing I forgot to ask, but I'm interested in. What, um, and this is a massive segue into what we are talking about before, but, like, what are your, how do your friends and family perceive what you're doing on YouTube? I guess, like, it probably is a little bit easier with Caden having done it first. You know what I mean? Like, for me, I would be... I hate vlogging because I like I hate going around with a camera in public because I'm doing it on my own. But like I would feel weird about doing it my in front of my friends. But is that like an issue for you? Or is it like totally like nobody even gives a shit? Uh, <clears throat> nobody gives a shit because they know I don't give a shit. So yeah, it's like like I I'll, I'll, I'll go to the footy with my mates or like the basketball with my mates, and I'll, I'm just saying I'm vlogging, and they'll they'll go, yeah, yeah. oh you do care, like <laughs> you know, the, oh no one cares, oh don't see a camera in my face, I just do it. And then just stick a yeah, camera yeah. in their face and they either front up or shut up. So, I don't know. And then it's, yeah, no one, like, my family don't give a shit because I don't give a shit. Like, not that I, I do give a shit. Like, I love it. But yeah. when it comes to stuff, like, I don't <clears throat> I don't have the whole, neither does Caden. Like, we, it's not, I'm sure you don't either, that the whole, like, oh, I'm actually a YouTuber. You know what I mean? Like, it's oh, just no. all, like, it's, it's all. So, it's, it's sort of just, everyone just knows I do it. <clears throat> and people either you can tell when people are like oh that's shit and they just don't talk about it because no no one has the balls to go or well, unless they're pissed on a night out or something they're just like you care what are you doing and it's like oh shut up mate like just having having a bit of fun like y- yeah you cop shit but i don't yeah i don't really make a big deal about it so no one else does like i just say i'm doing this like i'm not doing this you know mm-hmm. like and people just either get along with it or just don't talk to me <laughs> i don't know it's yeah yeah no that's cool that I think that's good advice for like young YouTubers as well, because um, I mean it's advice I need. I need to stop giving a shit, and then other people will stop giving a shit. So I'd be yeah, yeah. more open about doing this in public. But I mean, I saw another YouTuber. Um, his name's Isaac. Um, uh, I won't. Do- I'm not doxing him because he's actually got a YouTube channel. Isaac Nielsen or something, or am I? I forget his last name. He's a little. He's an AFL YouTuber. Oh, is he? Oh, young. He's, he's young. Young fella, like real young. Um, but I, I messaged him the other day. I was quite impressed because he's, he's like going around after the games with a little mic um, and oh, just like interviewing you... randoms and stuff like oh, that. So I rate that heaps, yeah. Yeah, and then he's at, uh, he had another video um, where he's like green screening with his dad and taking the piss out of his dad. And I'm like, you're way too young to be like this confident. <laughs> like you're way more confident than I. That is it's sick. so good though, like yeah. Yeah, what, what sort of like advice would you have to sort of young creators who are maybe starting off in this space? Literally just obviously like, if they see something you do, like don't be afraid to copy. Like not not fully copy, but yeah. maybe you know get onto you and like if it's something that's blatantly copy, ask like how you feel about it because you don't want to be known as the guy that rips off shit. But take like inspiration from what people do because like that's what I do. If I say you do something, like I was thinking, like I had the I like a semi idea. I'm like I want to do a redraft and thing, but I didn't know how I was going to do it. I saw your video and like I've been like sort of looking through drafts and I'm like I could how I like could do this. Like when Caden does a video, I'm like oh that's sick. Like, I gotta do. Jersey does like a prank. I'm like, I want to do something like that. Like, I, I think it's cool to get inspiration off shit wherever it comes from. Obviously, you don't want to be just doing the exact same. Like, you got to put your own spin on it. But don't be afraid to do that. Also, don't be afraid to be really original and try something different as mm-hmm. well as just do what you want to do and have fun. Like, don't put pressure on shit, I reckon. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. It's funny because I would say... It's really ironic that I've ended up doing YouTube because I consider myself a really not creative person, but I think how I've done it is I've kind of just observed 
many different people doing good things like you just said like for instance true geordie podcast um your sporkle videos uh weekly tip videos like everyone does those and then i've just kind of fragmented it into my own thing and, and i, I made it your own way so like no exactly. one's gonna watch and go hey that's a true geordie video like they might yeah. be like, oh this is <laughs> someone did say that <laughs> oh really Someone was like, you've just basically taken the True Geordie podcast and changed the name. And I was like, well, there's a little bit more to it than that. But <laughs> Talking about football, like, True Geordie yeah. can never talk about AFL football. Like, it's literally, find me one True Geordie podcast that's anything like the one that you've just done. You know I mean? like yeah, exactly. But, yeah. No, nah, it's funny, though. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, we're nearing the end of the podcast, and I realize we haven't talked any football yet. Uh, just before we go, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, North Melbourne. And your love for them. First of all, where did that start? Is it a family thing? Uh, my dad. My yep. dad. It was ve- from a very early age. It was you, this house, we bury for North Melbourne or you don't live in this house. So, mm. um, nice. yeah, big, big North man. Um, I literally, like, me and my brother both throughout, like, primary school because North were never the cool team to go for. Like, yep. everyone was, oh, North. And, like, it was like, oh, I just want to go for Essendon. Like, fuck, I'm sick <laughs> of copping it for going for North. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> So glad that I never changed because, um, I like I love barracking for North. That um, if North win a flag, if because you know nothing certain with that team, but uh, <laughs> one day the day we do win the flag, like people will go like, oh yeah, congrats to Cooko. Like not not congrats, but like I bet he's happy. Whereas like when like me being in Geelong, when Geelong win the flag, it's like, oh you're happy. Yeah. Like, so is he and yeah. Like, I sort of love the whole that it's like an NBA team or a um, <clears throat> or an EPL team where it's like the whole town or wherever you're from go for that team. But obviously, footy's not like that. Like you know, Melbourne has like oh, I don't know, you'd know off the top of your head, like eight different teams or something. Um, ten. Ten. Wow. Oh, a ten in the state. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's like you go to like you go to school in Melbourne, and it's like everyone goes for a different team. It's like not you know, but um. Yeah, dad just made us go for North and I, yeah, I'm stoked with it because, yeah, I reckon it's just sick. I've always liked, the, yeah, the idea of going for like an underdog team or like a smaller market team because it's like, then it's genuine, you know what I mean? Not yeah, that's true. Anyone, that anyone that goes for Collingwood or Hawthorne isn't genuine, but yeah. it's like, you know, you're not going to cop, not that you care what pe- you, you cop from people, but you're not going to cop bandwagoner for Barrican for North Melbourne. So. That's true. Yeah, very true. I've often thought it's um it's better to go for those kind of clubs rather than well, it's controversial, but I actually think it'll be better to go for someone like uh, Richmond or West Coast than say Hawthorne or Geelong because like Hawthorne have won four flags in seven years, and I just can't imagine maybe oh eight, but other than that, like the three peak can't have been as special for the fans as like for for me it was twelve years, and to some that's not that much, but for me that felt like a long time. Richmond waited like thirty years as well, and it'll be the same with North. And I have a lot of Frio fans who have literally never won a flag, obviously, and it's it's just going to be so much better, even if they just pinch one flag. But yeah, like what is yeah. that feeling like by the time Hawthorne win the third? Like what? what yeah, like, what is that feeling like? I'm sure you'd still love it if I was North. About oh, this is great, we're the best, fuck yeah, woo! But like yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, it's not the same as like it yeah. can't be. When it, that's very true. Yeah, first happens. That's very true. <laughs> um, but maybe some quick North predictions this year. How are you feeling uh, of the prospect of season twenty twenty? Uh, you, you're a Reece Shaw man, aren't you? Like you're supportive of him, aren't you? Staunch Reece Shaw. I wanted. I was. I was not as big of a Reece Shaw fan as I was not a Brad Scott fan. So, yeah, I'm. Yes, I'm yeah, mostly okay. like. I was at this is this is just sum up the feeling I have of Reece Shaw. Um, I was, me and Caden went to North Melbourne uh, photo day the other day, and they had oh, the whole yeah. the whole team photo, like you know whatever the whole club's there, like all the staff and everything, like everyone's in there. There's a few like contest winners you get to be in the photo and stuff, um, whatever. Everyone's like moves off. These like stools are still there. Every like chairs and shit are just everywhere. Like which is you know because people are sitting on them and whatever. Everyone goes off. The players go off to you know get changed or like get their headshots. The staff go back into the office and like it's just and Reece Shaw is the one who's packing up all the chairs. Like he's yeah, right. the head coach of the club is the one that's like no one's watching. It's not like he was doing it making a statement. Like he was just like like me and Kane are like, what the fuck is he doing? Like and he's the one putting all the stools back and like making sure the club's a nice place. Like, I don't know. And it just and he didn't stop talking to all the players. Whereas there was this whole thing with Brad Scott that he was like an elitist and he had his top five guys and then you didn't even know the like the first year players and stuff. It was like prove yourself in the yeah. VFL and then then you're worth me. And like 
Oh, even I didn't hate Brad Scott the whole his whole tenure. I think that's a word. I'm going to try and sound smart there. But um, no, you nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> yeah. So like, I didn't hate him his whole his whole tenure. I'll go again. Um, but when, like when we, I think it was like maybe like probably like ten years ago now, or maybe not that many, like six years ago, uh, we like re-signed him to like another four or five year contract or something. I was like, oh no, this guy just has to go. Like, like he's just not. Like it's hard. He's supposed to be all this tough bloke, like shinbo and a man, but. I don't know. I just really didn't like Brad Scott, but yeah, Rayshaw seems like a ripping bloke, and um, I like him. I just ripped you off halfway through your question, but um, no, you're right. Yeah, they, passionate about passionate about the Roos. <laughs> no, it's good, man. It's good, man. But where, where do you think you'll finish this year, and what, what's the goal? Um, I think the goal is finals footy. Um, the goal, I, I don't know. When teams talk goals, I think should the goal be winning premiership for every team, or is it like we're we talking like realistic goals? Like, I guess in Internally, they'll be they'll be thinking premiership, but I mean, as a fan, like, what are you thinking? Oh, I'd be happy with that. Ah, uh, pass marks. Yeah. yeah, it's not gonna. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I yeah, I reckon if we finish top ten and play a good brand of footy, I'll be like, I think that's a pass mark. Even if if, if we finish fifteenth, but we've been in games against top sides and played a good mm-hmm. brand and like maybe had a massive few wins against bottom teams, um, yeah, I, I think that's a pass mark. I'm not really yeah too fussed about the ladder position this year. Sure. Um, but yeah, I just want to see them playing good footy, like good footy to watch. Because I don't know, I swear, whenever um, a premiership team comes up, a few years before, like when they were struggling, it's like people would watch and they're like, they move it well. They got, you know, they, mm. you know, they show signs. Like it, it is a thing. So um, yeah, I just want to be able to watch them and go. Even like we go to a game against Richmond, we might lose by like five or six goals and go, geez, they had a crack and they moved the the ball well. And we were trying to play like the footy we want to play, not just chasing ass all day. So yeah. So true, man. Like, my least favourite, I think, season for the Eagles was 2017 where we finished eighth uh, and then won a final. Uh, other than the final we won, which is sick. Um, was that against that was, Yeah, that was... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was, like, an amazing game. But, I mean, the season was frustrating because I didn't feel like we were going anywhere. The, the football was shit and then we'd win a few games. And I've had more enjoyable seasons where we finished lower, but you could actually see the brand of football that was developing. So, I mean, North's, North's got a lot of, like, good young talent, eh? Like, LDU and Taron Thomas. Uh, those guys are, must be pretty exciting. Yeah, my, my brother's staunch uh, LDU, man. He was very happy with the, the redrafting video when you, you had him right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was bold with that one. I thought I'd piss off a lot of Fremantle fans because I didn't have Chera or Brayshaw in it, but I just think LDU's, like, I think he's going to be a gun one day. Well, yeah, because you took into account, you're like, it's not just like right now, obviously you're not going to pick LDU because, but it's not yeah. for now. It's, you know, it's redrafting and trying to, yeah. So I, yeah, I, I agreed with that because he still looks like a real polished player. Like he's got Rolls Royce type, you know, energies mm-hmm. about him. Like he, he could be, he hasn't really shown enough, but yeah, he's, yeah, got that about him. He's, he, yeah, I mean, to play his role, he's going to have to like, be much more developed you know what i mean he's going to be a big bad sort of inside mid like it's very hard to do that young we can't all be patty crips you know yeah yeah 100%. <laughs> that's it yeah cool man well uh, i think we've just about reached the end of the potty uh which is a shame man i feel like i could do a two-hour podcast with you this has been really really good so thank you for coming on um no, what and no here you go yeah oh sorry no what were you gonna say i was just gonna say we'll have to because like me and Kaden do our podcast we'll have to try and i don't know how some way Oh, I, I'm hoping this year we get sent up to Perth. So if we get a bit of spare time, hopefully we bring a camera up and do something with you there. Or, or, or we could, yeah, do it this style, Skype. Um, I don't know how yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With two of us just staring at you. Just, <laughs> but no. <laughs> yeah. No, that'd be cool. I've actually been thinking about asking Caden if he has time to, to do this sort of thing as well, yeah, which would be cool. He'd, so. he'd be up for it. He'd probably be a better, so. better interviewee than me. But uh, yeah. No, no, no you can actually it. You've been great, man. I really appreciate it. I want to ask you one last question. Um, How would you to... like to be remembered? No. <laughs> yes, I, I was <laughs> actually going there. Yeah, yeah, I threw that one at the pair. I want to. I want to steal that one from True Geordie. So, like, how would you like to be remembered? Because I think it's a really good question. Uh, ooh. I'm not. Sure. I think someone said this. I'm not trying to steal it, but how would I like to be remembered? It's like half of me that's like, I, I don't care if I'm not remembered. Like, I just don't care. Like. The people around me, I want to be remembered. But then it's like, is that remembered? I want to be remembered as um, someone who was good to be around. I think that's pretty basic, but just good to be around. Might You know, might be broken in a ditch one day, but when I'm around people, they're like, good bloke to be around. 
I feel that, man. I, well, I think I think you've nailed it. Uh, I think you, people will say that. Uh, not when you're dead. That sounds really dark. But <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, I think you've achieved that. So, yeah. Cool, man. Uh, why don't you as well, just uh, the actual last question, why don't you rattle off like uh, your social media and your YouTube channel so people who don't know you know where to find you? Uh, at Young King Cookson across all platforms. If it's uh, there's yeah. no at Young King Cookson there, I'm not on that platform. So, uh yeah. cool and that's young it's trendy way y-u-n-g true i'm actually gonna leave it in the description anyway so people will be able to find yeah, it fine, there, so. fine, fine, be fine. Good. all good mate well, well thank, thank you very much, much. and uh, to all your listeners thank you for tuning in this is obviously available both on uh, youtube itunes spotify all that so um thanks and we'll see you in the next one cheers